what our job is, if we're the person managing the migration, or if you're working with IT Genius to help support you through a migration, is to determine where are all the places that your emails are at the moment. And it's not just where you access your emails day to day, because it might not actually be in the same place. My business is moving from cPanel to Google Workspace, and I currently use Apple Mail to manage all my work accounts. I'd like to preserve my folders and subfolders. Is there a way to do so? Let's talk about migrations. There's lots of different ways to migrate different email into your Workspace account. And if you're preparing for a migration and you've got different sources of emails in different places, there's different methods for how you may choose to get that data into your Workspace account and some considerations to make along the way. Let's dig into these a little bit, what some of the considerations are and how it can help you to navigate if you're planning a migration. So I'm gonna go and do a little bit of drawing. So when you set up a Google Workspace account, you're gonna have a set of mailboxes. Now I tend to call these buckets of email on this channel and they're represented by your different users or staff that may be inside your business. Now, if you've got three people in the business, let's say you've got Peter here, you've got Bob there and you've got Sandy over there. Now you've got three mailboxes here, but you're probably gonna have email scattered in other places. So let's say for example, you've got your Apple mail over here. Let's say maybe some of your email is sitting in Outlook potentially. Maybe some of your email is sitting on a pop server. Maybe you even have a exchange server if you've got a business. Maybe you're coming from the cloud from Microsoft 365. Basically, what our job is, if we're the person managing the migration, or if you're working with IT Genius to help support you through a migration, is to determine where are all the places that your emails are at the moment. And it's not just where you access your emails day to day, which may be Outlook or it may be Mac Mail, but it could also be where the data of your emails is actually stored because it might not actually be in the same place. Maybe you're just downloading the latest 30 days of emails to your device, but all of the archive data is actually sitting on a server somewhere. Maybe they're stored in the cloud and your phone is just accessing them when you're connected to the internet. Maybe you're accessing your emails through a cPanel server and they tend to operate using technology called POP or IMAP. Now, IMAP is where your emails live on the server and they take up server space. But if you're using multiple devices, you see the same set of folders and the same set of emails. Your inbox is your inbox. If you read an email on your phone, it marks it as read on your desktop computer. But you may also be using an application called POP or a protocol called POP. And that protocol means that you're downloading emails. You're deleting them from the server every time you retrieve them and you're accessing them from your individual devices, meaning that once you read them on your computer, they no longer exist on the server. Now, all of this goes to say that we have to do a cleanup and an archive job, and we've got to find where those emails are, and then we've got to work out the best methodology to get those emails into Google Workspace. And that's why we call it a migration, because we're migrating that data into the Google Workspace ecosystem via a number of different methods. Now, IT Genius are experts at migrations. We've delivered migration projects for literally thousands of companies, for tens of thousands of employees. And if you're interested in someone to take all the pain away, hold your hand, and you don't wanna waste a weekend working all this stuff out yourself, I'd recommend you get in touch with our team. You can click a link down below to get started. But if you're interested in going it yourself, I wanna prepare you for what to look out for when you're working through a migration. Let's have a look at some of the different ways that we can migrate mail because they differ depending on where your mail is sitting right now. Now, if you're using a cloud-based email service or a server-based email service, we do what's called a cloud-to-cloud -cloud migration. So we're gonna take emails that are sitting in, for example, an Exchange server or a Microsoft 365 server, and effectively, we're gonna take the emails sitting in the cloud, and we're gonna migrate them into the Google Workspace mailbox. Now, for each one of those email addresses, you're probably gonna have an inbox, an outbox, and a set of folders that you've set up inside your mailbox. We use third-party tools that make sure that those same mailboxes automatically arrive in your individual inboxes, so that each one of the user accounts or buckets of email is gonna see the same list of emails that it saw as you were using them. Now, if you're using something like Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Exchange, remember that these live in data centers. 
And so these are hosting your email online in a data center. And if you're accessing them via a phone, then you're going to just read what's sitting on the server. Likewise, with Microsoft Exchange, you're going to read what's sitting on the server. What about if we have a POP server on cPanel or you're just using Apple Mail and you're downloading all of your emails into Apple Mail? Well, in that case, we need to use another tool and that's what we call a manual migration. So if you're coming from a POP server or you're coming from Apple Mail, most of those emails are actually going to be living on your desktop computer because they've already been downloaded from the server, deleted from the server, and now they just live on your computer. And what in most cases needs to happen is that your inbox, your outbox, and any other folders that you've created have to be manually dragged and dropped up to your online folders inside the Google ecosystem. Now, it's still possible to go through this process and retain every single one of your emails. That works fine. It's just a more manual process when you're dragging and dropping from Apple Mail to get them uploaded. Now, is it a good idea to do that? Hell yes, it is. You want to make sure that you have every one of your emails, every piece of your business data uploaded and into the Google ecosystem. The reason for that is you don't want to accidentally have a computer run out of hard drive space and start losing files or you lose it or it gets broken or, you know, something happens because things do happen with tech and, you know, therefore have a data loss event. We don't want to lose any emails, especially if we're a business owner and a customer might call you two or three years from now and say, hey, I'm not happy with what you delivered to me and I want to sue you. We need to keep our records and uploading them all into Google Workspace means that you've got them in a safe place. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other ways that we can migrate emails up. So let's talk about it if we are using Outlook because Outlook is a special case. Now, we still need to upload from Outlook to the cloud, but there is a special tool that we can use for that, which is called Google Workspace Sync for Microsoft Outlook. Now, it used to be called Gasmo because it was Google Apps Sync, right? Now it's Google Workspace Sync. And what that tool does is it connects into your Outlook, it sucks all the email up, and then it automatically sends that email into your Google Workspace mailbox. Now, you're going to have to run that individually for each mailbox because it takes time for each individual mailbox to take that user's email from Outlook and put it up online into the online version of that person's mailbox. Now, the great thing about Google Workspace is if you've got everything uploaded into the cloud, it's accessible from everywhere. Whether you still use Outlook or Mac Mail, I don't recommend it. But if you were to still use Outlook or Mac Mail, or if you're using your phone, or if you're using Google online in the browser, which is our strong recommendation, you can run a search and find any email from any point in time in your Google Workspace account. It's so easy to run a search in the browser and have Google sift through years, and in my case, even decades of email and immediately find the email that you're looking for. Now, if you're wondering, will it ever slow down? Will anything ever go wrong with it? Will it start to perform slowly if I've got too many emails in there? Let me show you a pretty cool demo of exactly what it looks like in my own mailbox. Now, if I open up my Gmail, I've got over 10 years of data sitting inside here. And I've actually hardly deleted a single email in over a decade, now 15 years actually of running my business. And you can see here that if I choose to open up my storage, which inside my Google Drive, you will see a storage button. And this is gonna show me how much storage I'm using. And in my Gmail account, I have 78 gigabytes of email, which is just absolutely crazy. Yet, inside my inbox, if I choose to search for an email all the way back in 2011, boom, instantly going to bring up every single one of my emails from many, many, many years ago. And the thing that I love about this is it's all accessible from any browser or any computer that I access. Even though there are literally 610,000 emails in my mailbox right now. It's just crazy how good Gmail service is at displaying and giving you access to your emails, no matter how old they are. And something like Microsoft just can't beat it. So we've wrapped up the different methods for managing a migration and looking at the different ways that you can approach 
migrating mail from different business sources, whether you're going cloud to cloud because your emails are already in a server or they're online with Office 365, whether you're doing a manual drag and drop with Apple Mail, which is a bit of a pain and yes, time consuming, but it makes sure that all of your emails are eventually backed up. Or if you're using one of Google's automated migration tools to Google Workspace, from Microsoft Outlook, then you've got all bases covered with your migration. If you're interested in help with the migration, click on the link down below this video and you'll be able to get in touch with our team. We do migrations all day long and we have packages from sole operators to mid-sized small businesses right up to large organizations that are looking to move hundreds or even thousands of users. But even if you're a sole trader and you're just a single operator, we've got a discounted plan for you. Have a chat with our team, click on the link down below and we'll see you there.